It's she here from God and Thread Tarot. How are you doing today? I'm going to bring you another channel message. I hope this message is finding you blessed and full of abundance, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. I was hearing rumors. So I'm hearing that somebody here, I'm hearing a past connection. So this could be a past connection. It could be uh, like, uh, you know, friends, family, people you grew up with, uh, exes, uh, past connections that possibly could have gone somewhere but didn't, okay? Is what I'm hearing. I'm really feeling like this is a masculine energy here, okay? This masculine energy chose not to invest or chose not to um, pursue something with you, okay? Because they heard a rumor about you that really, like, that really, like, got their ego all, like, flared up. Like, we're gonna get more into it, but I'm not sure what spirit wants to talk about this today, but <laughs> we're gonna talk about it, okay? Excuse me. Tell me more about this spirit. Okay. Childish. Somebody here was being childish. Okay. I was like, okay, this is strictly sexual. So somebody, so this, uh, this past person could have told you something along the lines of, you know, oh, this was strictly sexual or this didn't mean anything. Like you didn't mean anything more than a hookup or something like that. Or they could have ghosted you. Or this could have been the rumor that this person heard incoming, planning a return to this connection, okay? So I feel like somebody from this person's past or somebody this person was connected to came in and told a lie and told a lie on you and told told this masculine energy something about you. Um, they could have said that they hooked up with you. They could have said that they had a past relationship with you. Um, I don't know. Child, I don't know, something childish. Or they could have been saying that it happened in childhood, but red flags, whatever. Whatever this person said, it made this masculine energy here, okay? It made this masculine energy see red flags when they looked at you, okay? Then they decided to uh, focus on their family or maybe, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They decided to focus on their family instead or focus on something else instead of focusing their energy on you. Okay, so what, let's get more into the specifics. So what was this, uh, what was this rumor? What was this rumor? Is that what you want to talk about? Okay, soulmate, you're learning something. Hmm. I'm hearing somebody say soulmates with your brother. Okay, I'm not exactly sure. Marriage. Okay. So. Somebody could have said, could have, could have told this person that you were destined to be with somebody else. Somebody close to them. That you were actually destined to marry someone else. Or destined to marry somebody that they knew. Or somebody that they knew could have told them that they were interested in you or that they, you know, that they wanted to be with you. Let them reach out and protection. Rejection is divine protection. Okay. Um, I don't know. Well, there was some, something happened here. Somebody got inspired to tell a lie to a masculine energy that I feel like you were interested in, okay? Or you're this masculine energy that a lie got told to, okay? Let the energy resonate as it does. And it made you see somebody or it made um, somebody see you with red flags when they looked at you, okay? Like, no, that's a no-go zone. Accountability. Take responsibility for your actions. Um, I keep seeing this let them reach out um, energy. So somebody could have told them, and you and something about and I feel like this masculine energy was like I'm not going to reach out to them if they reach out to me that's something different but I'm not going to reach out to them I'm gonna not I'm not gonna make that I need to have to take accountability or this masculine energy has found out the truth about the about this and so now they're trying to take accountability but there is still like this hesitancy to actually like reach out or to actually make some kind of move here or you're feeling some kind of um yeah. Um, or they feel, yeah, I was going to say a little bit more about this. Um, do they feel really guilty for not investing more into this than they should? I saw that 
death card in reverse. So there was either something that they were, uh, there was some kind of evolution that they were refusing, right? Like it was an opportunity for this person to be like, oh, you know what? This is childish rumors. Let me reach out. Let me, you know, uh, let me, you know, uh, let me see for myself. Let me see for myself. Yeah. Let me see for myself. Let me go and, and, and see something about this. Or this person, like, they said something and they were still interested in you. But it's like, it's like not to be in a relationship with you. Okay? Like, they were like, mm, maybe I'll go in on that wands energy. Maybe I'll go in on that, you know, like, I'll hit and quit energy or something like that. Like, oh, like oh, it's like that, or oh, they're like that, you know what, like, I'll hit it, and I'll quit it, or I'll do something like that kind of energy, but this, this person is not for somebody for me to invest real feelings into, right, because this person, there's something here too, I saw the nine of swords, it made me think, like, like, they either talked to somebody who had dated you in the past, or said they dated you, and that person was like, oh, they're a nightmare, they're a nightmare to be around, like, they're just, uh, like, don't even, like, you know, the, the D's good, or the P's good, you know, it's banging, but, like, other than that, like, I wouldn't do anything, I wouldn't put any, I wouldn't put any work into it, and it made this, and it made this person pause, and, like, have this, like, choice option, where they're just like, I don't know, should I choose this, should I do this, I'm not sure, I really also feel like this person was like, you know what, I'm just going to mind my own business. I'm going to focus on something else that made this person make the choice to work on something different. They're like, OK, no, that person is not an option or, you know, like, no, I wouldn't take them seriously, you know, because of uh, this rumor, because there's something that got told about about them. So I'll so it made this person like either ghost you or run off on you or be like, no, never mind. I'm out of this relationship or I'm not going to talk to this person. And they chose to work on something different. OK. Yeah, and now this person feels very burdened, right? This person was carrying a lot of burdens. Or wherever this person decided to work, it's like, this person is like, oh my gosh, I, uh, they said, this person told me that you were going to be this headache, so I didn't choose you and I chose somebody else or I went somewhere else and met somebody else. But that thing that I chose is actually more burden, right? I feel extremely burdened in the place that I am now with the choice that I made. So see, so this person, and, if, and even if they, if they might not regret the person or like the situation that they chose to work on, but they feel very burdened by the fact that I really feel like that the truth has come out in this situation. And they're just like, I really wish that I hadn't have believed that lie about that person, because that person like, that person doesn't actually seem to be that way or, or that doesn't actually seem, you know, or the truth has come out like, you know, like, no, that person's actually not like that. Yeah. So this person feels very much, they feel really a heavy burden because they feel like they got emotionally manipulated, right? They feel, or they close, they close their heart off to this cir circumstance and started something new and um, went in a different direction to start something new with somebody else or something else, or just, you know, doesn't have to be another person. Um, I really feel... I don't feel like necessarily it was like this person chose a different person over you. This person just chose not to invest in you. And in their moving on from you, they have gotten into a different relationship or they're in a, a different place doing something different, right? And they're just like, they're really reflecting on it or sitting back and kind of like looking at the bigger picture energy is what I'm getting for that four of swords, deciding to step back. And it's like, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, that was a childish rumor or the way that I handled, or at least at the very fact, you know, they're like, the way I handled the situation was childish, right? I was acting out of my ego and not acting out of this. Because emperor, this person is coming out as an emperor. And so I'm like, have they matured? Have they, you know, obviously if they're thinking about this in this way, they've found something out. Like they've gone through something that has made them have a different perspective in this situation, okay? Um, have a different perspective in this situation. Death card in reverse. I don't know. I don't know. This person could just be like the place that I am now is actually, you know what? Like when I compare what you said the situation would be like, what that person, whoever that rumor said, however that person said you were going to be, where they are is way worse. So they're like, Shh, you know, like I should have chose to be with that person because at least oh, I'm going to be honest, like, this is not how all of them feel, but at least, but some of them are like, at least the sex would have been banging, or at least, you know, 
at least I knew it was good, you know, or something like that. And they're like, where I am now, it ain't that, right? But this person feels very highly burdened. And I really feel like the person, if they are with a person right now, or this either they feel like they feel really heavy with the burden that whoever this person is, because it could be a feminine energy that, that told them this, okay? And I am getting that this feminine energy could know you, or they at least said they know they, they knew you. So it could be an ex-friend or a past person, okay, that you had some kind of dealings with. And they very much so manipulated this person. They extremely manipulated this person. And this person is realizing like, damn, I got, I got played. I got emotionally manipulated um, out of something that could have been actually really nice. And now I want this new beginning. The devil, yeah. Now I want to drop these heavy burdens. I really feel like this person was like, shit. Like I ended up in a karmic situation. Or I ended up, it's like this person feels like they chose, yeah, whatever situation they're in right now is really unbalanced and it's really taking more from them than it's given, right? This person is feeling really heavily burdened and they feel like they, they want to go forward, they're striving, they're trying to meet their goals, but every single time they think that they're, that they're meeting their goals, they get pushed back, you know, they come into another obstacle, which is what, you know, spirit will do or that you will manifest into your life when you choose to do something out of karma, right? Or when you choose to do something that really is a burden. This person feels like I got emotionally manipulated into choosing something that's way more burdensome than it would have been if I would have made a different option. I am, I, this person feels changed or stuck in, in some kind of situation that is, that is taking and taking and taking and taking from them and not giving anything back. And they feel like everywhere they turn and every time that they try to get up in the world, they feel like they get knocked back. Yeah, they feel like I chose something, start in reverse here, I, I chose something that was, like this person's identifying it as like a dark path that they chose, they're just like, I chose to listen to rumors, I chose to listen to bullshit, I chose to listen to the F shit, you know, I chose to listen to just, why did I do that? You know, and it, and it did nothing but get me messed up or get me wrapped up in a bunch of stuff that I don't even want to be involved with, like, I don't even want that, like, oh, this person is so, they're, like, frustrated, they're just, like, oh, I'm so frustrated, like, I hate, when I had the chance that I didn't invest in this thing that, that really would have been something that, um, you know, and this doesn't have to be a relationship, you know, this could be somebody, like, you could be, like, they could have been, like, um, you could have been offering them a job or offering them some kind of partnership or like collaborating together on a project or doing something like that. And they got talked out of it and they're just like, oh, like, why didn't I get in on that when I could have? Like, why didn't I invest in that when I should have? Why didn't I put forth the proper work to do what I needed to do in this, right? And they decided to put work or prioritize something different other than whatever you were offering them collective and they're just like oh. this person feels like also with this page of pinnacles in reverse this person feels this can be a person that's like a workaholic like this person feels like they just have to work and 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 like all they do is make money make money make money make money make money and that's it but but it's, but it's like but they're just like but i don't even have i don't even have it the money to show for it um, some of them feel like, like, I don't even have the money to show for it, right? This person is like, I, I just work and work and work and work and work and it never gives anything back to me. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups. Oh. This person's like, um, oof. I don't like to use this word, but that's what this person is saying. This person's like, I hate them. Like if it's a person or if it's a, like a mentality or a mindset or something, whatever it is, this person's like, I hate it. Like, I hate, I hate this. I don't, I wish I never would have taken this. I wish I never would have collaborated with this. I wish I never would have worked with it. I never should have started this because, oh my God, I hate it. And all it, ha all it has done is put obstacles in my path. Queen of Swords fell on the floor, okay, the moon and the queen of swords, there were a bunch of illusions, I really feel like this person, whoever this other person was, or whatever this was, showed up as, yeah, look, not of swords, anger, this person has a lot of anger, and a lot of, like, 
they're just like I'm mad I'm angry like oh I can't believe it so this person there was a lot of illusions illusions are coming out now and I really feel like whoever this other whatever this other excuse me whatever other thing is was like no you don't need that you don't need that choose this instead you know like it's like this person is like It's like this person is like, oh, wow. I don't know. Just one second. Okay. Sorry about that. So it's like whoever, whoever this or whatever it was this person chose was like, oh, I'm independent. I'm trustworthy. I'm, you know, like I got my ducks all in a row. I know what I'm doing. You don't need that other person. No, no, no. Like we got it. We're fine. Like me and you can do this without that other person or me and you got it. It doesn't matter. Like, no, like I know what I'm doing. This person really presented themselves as like, I'm presenting the truth to you. Like what I'm saying is presenting the truth to you. Like I just, like this could even been a person that came to this person was like, oh, I just want to be honest like I saw that you and so and so were kind of talking and I just want you to know like I heard them talking shit about you or I heard this or I heard this I heard this rumor that they do this or they do that or did you know that this person did this or does that like and I just wanted to be honest with you and I just wanted to help you out like I heard this about you and I just think I just think you should know this about this person right whoever this other person was that came to them that presented them with this rumor really tried to present themselves as somebody who was very like an upstanding moral citizen like I'm just trying to help you out so that you know the truth about this right like I'm on your side I'm here to help you and now this person has realized like no this person was completely manipul was was completely emotionally manipulating them and was completely and they're just like I wish I never would have believed this person I wish I never would have I don't feel like for some of them they literally could have chose this person over you okay in a love situation but I really feel like um, it was just they trusted what it was was choosing they chose to trust to trust this person over trusting you and I don't know maybe you were just getting to know this person or they didn't know you very well or this person or this whoever this queen of swords energy is right here um is representing I really I think that they just knew this person more or something like that you know but yeah <laughs> yeah oh look at this so this person could have been a family member. Um, this person could have been a family member, but this person is, is like, I want to create a brand new beginning. I mean, like in the end, I'm kind of seeing the situation like it's probably, it's kind of good that the situation happened because now this person has learned a really valuable lesson about who to trust, who, who they give their energy and give their time to and who, you know, is really worth their time or worth their energy, right? And who who they should really invest in. Like maybe you shouldn't just take people for their word at it or just assume that just because this person is this or that or a family member or something that they actually have your best thing at heart. But now whatever it is, whether or not it's you or whether it's not just something else, you know, this person really wants to have a brand new beginning and wants to go towards whatever is going to bring them their emotional satisfaction. And this whole, this whole situation enlightened this person to the fact that whoever it was they were trusting in before you know was um was very was being at was was truly this person was trying to show up as a queen of swords but the truth was this person was a queen of cups in reverse they were extremely emotionally manipulative to this person yeah king of swords they tried they tried to make they tried to make it seem like you know i match your values i know what you want better you know like they they're like we're on the same side we're on the same team you know you're this really emotionally upstanding you know like person you might be a little bit cold but you take cold hard facts and i just might you know and you just take the facts of the situation you stand in truth you have this morality to you right i'm not viewing i'm but i'm just I really feel like whatever this rumor was, it made you look like a very immoral person, okay? Immoral person. And perhaps even maybe this this masculine energy needed to learn how to judge people a little bit less harshly, right? Maybe that was the case. It's like, not only was it like, look, like some, not everybody that tries to present themselves as this more, as this morally righteous person, right? is really actually representing the truth. Not everybody that says, oh, I'm just being honest. I'm just being truthful. I'm not everybody that says that really, you know, really has those, has those motivations. Like sometimes people have like really poor motivations behind when they try to present you with the truth. And it's, and it's, and it's possible 
that it's like this person used some truth or used something that did happen, but tried to tried to present it in a way where they knew this person wouldn't like that or would judge you because of it. Like, did you know this person did that? And you're like, and they're like, they do what? Like, oh no, like I could never be with a person or I could never work with a person that did that or did that or, or did this or acted this way. Like, nope, I could never do that. Right. And so the person's like, I know me neither. Like, let's, let's not, let's not mess with them or let's not, let's not have anything to do with them. Like it's gross. Like, I can't believe people do stuff like that, or I can't believe this happens. Right. And now this person is seeing that is that in this way, this person, even though this person might have been presenting them with a half truth or some kind of truth, right? It really honestly made this, made this masculine energy really stop to think like, should I really be judging people for doing that? Because in the end, it made this person feel very lonely. Like it's like this person was like, oh no, I'm a like kind of like a snobby energy. Like, oh no, I'd never, I'd never mess with somebody that did that. Or I would never date somebody that did that. But then it's like, maybe the same thing happened to this, to this masculine energy. And the, and the same person that was like, you know, we should never do that. Suddenly now turned around and was like, ew, you're that type of person too? Gross. And this, and this masculine energy was like, Maybe I shouldn't have been as judgmental because until I went through it myself, I didn't really realize how it felt to be in that same situation. And then I realized I don't want people, maybe I shouldn't judge people that do that because when I was in the same situation, like, you know, I had to do that too, or I had, or I had to make that choice too. And it kind of was, it was kind of like this morally ambiguous place where maybe perhaps this person was a person that saw some things in very like black and white when the situation was asking for this person to look at kind of like the gray in between or like, it was kind of like a situation. Sorry about that. But yeah, it, it's kind of the situation where this person was like, you know, when I got put in the same situation, you know, it's like I really couldn't know how it really felt until I got put in that same situation. And then once I got put in that same situation, I see that things are not as black and white as I as I as I thought that they were. Things are not as like clean cut, like clearly this is the choice you should have made. Clearly this is what you do, you know, and it's like when I when it was put on me, I didn't make, you know, I didn't make the best choices either. Or I, you know. Things aren't exactly as cut and dry as I was really trying to make them seem like they are. This person really has walked away from a lot of things, has left a lot of drama or has left something that really was like weighing them down. Um, Something that where they're just like, look, like I got to get out of here. I'm getting like a big like self-preserving. Like they're really making me really pay attention to the fact that it's like this person is like getting on the boat and leaving here with their family to like protect, like to protect and preserve something. So they're leaving in order to preserve something, leaving, uh, leaving in order to protect something and they're really watching here for this page of swords uh they're really they're really watching and learning how to do something or they're watching somebody or like uh, I'm, they're also showing me like this person is like turning around like looking behind them like watching like as like some shit goes down or something and they're just like whoa or it's like maybe like watching from the outside like once they once this person got put in the same position and they made choices these same people or the same person turned around and was like ooh no like ooh you do that too no way and then when they were front like it was easy to think that way when they were on the inside but then once they got put in the position of being on the outside and they got put in the same position um they it's like oh wow like now that I see from a different perspective now I'm the person that's being ostracized or now I'm the person that's being judged for doing this I feel a completely different way strength card here I really feel like this person is really like their ego is being tested like their ego is being put to the test through what they are what they are experiencing now which is they got put in the same position where they are being judged and being ridiculed for the same thing that supposedly you did. Wow. <laughs> wow, look at this. The lover's card. Now this person is making a choice and the ace of cups and the knight of cups. So now that this person has been humbled, they feel like they are really making a choice in choosing choosing love instead. This it's like this person got taught a lesson of choosing love instead and 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 like really um 
appreciating the kindness perhaps that you were trying to show them or appreciate you for who you really are for the for the kindness or the energy or whatever it was that you were trying to do it's like this person's perspective has completely changed now and now they have now they see things from a completely different perspective right that was the choice. They could have been kind and understanding, but now, because whoever this person is now, right, when a king and queen of swords comes out, right, this does remind me of, 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 of people who don't see eye to eye, right? Especially if you're pulling for like a couple, for, for me, like a king and queen of swords is, is, is somebody, it's a couple that's disagreeing. If they're in a marriage, they're a couple that's heading for divorce, right? Kind of energy. Or, you know, if they're not like a couple, but they're just two people, they don't really see eye to eye on the same. So it's like that same sword that that queen of swords used against you. Right now that queen of swords is holding up that same sword up to this masculine energy like, oh, and you do it too. Oh, no. You know, and this masculine energy is like, uh, and this masculine energy could have already known like it's giving me a big projection energy like in you, this masculine energy saw something inside themselves, but they saw how this queen of swords reacted to it. So they were like, oh, no, 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 I'm not with them. I don't do that. And it's like, but you do do that. Right. So they might have. They might have turned that sword against you and used it against you or judged you for something that they do themselves. Then spirit was like, oh, you want to judge them, but you know that you do that, you do that yourself. Like, okay, swoop, let, let's let you know how it feels, you know, how it feels to be in that situation or how it feels to use that sword against somebody who, who walks the same walk or talks the same talk as you do. Yeah. And this person felt laid out by all those swords, right? It's giving me like three of swords energy, right? Like now that person had to lay down their swords and whoever, whoever they chose you or whoever, whatever group of people, you know, that they chose over you, that they were, oh, this person, this person, they does that. And then all of a sudden those same people were like, wait a minute, you do that too. Like now you're in that, now you're in that same boat. <laughs> it's like, be careful. Um, Spirit is saying people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. And I don't really, maybe you use that. Yeah, because it's something unreliable. There's something here. This person has lost something. King of Pentacles here. They could have lost a lot of money or they could have lost a position of power. Right, right. This person was in a position of power of seeing themselves over you, judging you, being um, being this, um, this. And now all of a sudden these people are like, no, you're in the same boat as them. You're the same as that person. Gross. And this person has lost that position of power now, which is making them challenge their ego. Yes, exactly. Five of Pentacles. They feel left out in the cold. They feel abandoned, right? In the same way that they abandoned you, now they feel abandoned. The very thing that they tried to ostracize and abandon you for doing, now they are being ostracized and abandoned for doing that same exact thing. Right. And it's been a whole ass journey for this person. Yeah. Now this person is feeling like they're having to defend themselves, like they're having to to uh, to learn how to stick up for themselves, you know, and be like, you know what? F you. I shouldn't have judged this other person for doing it and whatever. If you. Yeah. But it's it's slow. <laughs> right. Now it's moving slow. This person got demoted. Right. They were a king. They got knocked all the way down to a to a knight. Right. Almost at a page. Right. But this person got knocked. Maybe they got knocked down to a page and they've worked their way slowly but surely back up to a night now. Right. But they whatever position of power they had. Yeah, that got taken away. Mm hmm. The sun in reverse. Uh, this person could have been trying to, to hide that from you. They did not want you to know. They did not want you to know that you were right about something or they did not want you to know. Um. <sighs> The world card, a new cycle uh, happening here with the seven of cups in reverse. Like, um, it's like the pathway is clear now. This person is not, is no longer like confused by the choices or by the options or by past actions, right? It's like, in a way, this person did themselves a favor. Yeah, they're working their way back up to it, like a ten of pentacles here. Um, in a way that this person did themselves a favor, although, you know, they did it in a very, like, rude, mean way, they got taught a lesson, and they're learning that lesson, they're like, shit, you know, it's easy for me to be like, oh, you're this way, and you're this way, ha, 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 uh, everybody make fun of this person for being that way, and then, you know, they're, they're really, yeah, <laughs> the reason they really did that was because they, there was something inside them, look, hmm. <laughs> 
Okay. They want it to be like, oh, I got emotionally manipulated. Oh, this person is emotionally manipulative. They're a bad person. But really the truth is they were that person. And that's the lesson that they're being taught here. Stop projecting your own energy onto other people or stop, you know, right? Like, why would you make fun of or why would you do something that somebody that you're the same way? You're the exact same way as this other person. So why are you why you got a, such a problem with it? Well, the truth is you got a problem with yourself. It's not really about that other person. It's really about yourself, right? And that's a karmic lesson this person was learning is that is that you can say all you want to. Oh, you know, this person manipulated him and blah, blah, blah. But you participated. Like you went along with it. You didn't question it. You went straight along with it because you you are the same, right? You and this other person, you match. You were a king, a queen of swords, right? You were a king of cups in reverse. That person was a queen of cups in reverse. You chose a person that matched your own energy, right? And you can blame this other, this queen of cups all you want to for starting rumors and lying to you, but you believed it, right? So, ace, ace of swords, page of cups in reverse. Both of these are in reverse, right? So yeah, that sword got used against you. That that lies and those rumors that you were spreading, you're realizing that you were doing that because you had that self-hate, right? The page of cups in reverse is somebody who either refuses refuses to apologize for somebody something or, you know, somebody that's that's kind of like a hater, like they're hating on it, they were jealous or they have that energy in, inside of them because, you know, most of the time when we don't when we want to pick apart or we want to judge some somebody for something, it's because it's something that we see inside. They reflect something inside that is inside of ourselves that we don't like, which is exactly why we're judging them for doing it. Because and really and the truth is we're judging ourselves for doing it. Two of swords <laughs> all these synchronicities. Two of swords and the two of pentacles. Okay, two of swords in reverse and the two of pentacles. This person is has seized the way now, right? Ways are being unblocked for this person now and they're realizing how they need to to ju to juggle or how to balance out that lado that that lado, that shadow and light side of themselves, right? Balance out between the two of those and not be so driven by by their ego anymore right yeah have a little bit more independence right let go of these things that you were refusing to walk to walk away from it's time for you to kind of grow up and let go of that stuff because you are being kind of greedy you are being kind of selfish you know you were being very judgmental and harsh towards somebody for doing something that you know that, that's inside of yourself as well right so this person has done a lot of of inner checking and inner guidance and on, and, on, and on that journey you know they're learning how to have a lot more independence and not just so go along with the crowd in the situation and because you know they're learning you know what um yeah i'm hearing weird like weirdo like they could have called you weird they could have called you dip you know they could have made fun of you for doing something but i really feel like this person was making fun of you for just walking in your truth and just being yourself yeah and it made this person really angry because they wish that they could walk in their truth they wish that they could walk in themselves they really actually wanted to be with you <laughs> what they 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 saw themselves in you they saw a person that reminded themselves a lot of you but because they have some kind of self-worth issues or they have some kind of jealousy issues or something like that yeah right they saw you getting or moving or making these moves or you know they they saw you as like this divine gift like in the in the end you were a divine gift everything that happened because look three of swords in reverse so they could take those three of swords so they could so they could go inside right so they could go inside so they could hermit mode find themselves right really reflect on their own choices and their own journey and then end up you know relieving themselves of this heartbreak and this heart you know and this heartache so this person really matured in this whole process of the the way that they did this to you right and seven of swords in reverse this person learned how to stand a lot more in their truth it was just time it was time for this person to come to this natural evolution here of being like oh maybe i shouldn't do that you know maybe i yeah your friends are here to help, right? So this person is saying, in the end, this person wants to say thank you because you really actually helped me. You were a true friend. This this person could have even have chosen other friends over you, and then they realize, like, no, actually, like, I, I, you know, I should have stood beside that person, or I should have had that person's back because, like, 
you know, they actually knew what they were talking about. I was going along. I just went along with the crowd. One person said one thing, you know, one person said A and three people said B. And even though in my heart, I believed it was A too, I went along with the people who said it was B. And then I made fun of the person that said it was A. Then all the people that said it was B found out that I was actually an A person too. And then they turned their back and abandoned me. So now the A, the a person that I could have had as an ally doesn't want me, Right. And on top of that, the people that were bees, they don't want me either, you know? So it's like now this person feels very alone, but they're learning how to, how to, you know, in this whole situation, they're learning how to have a lot more sovereignty, how to have a lot more account, how to take accountability and be like, I was being a freaking jerk. Like, I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. But, you know, they understand. They're just like, I understand a lot more about all of this now you know, yeah, do your freaking research, do your, do your research is what this person is learning, like, may, maybe you should, you know, talk a little bit more about it, because now this person has gone through, you know, it's easy to stand on the outside when you haven't gone, to, gone through it, and to judge somebody for the way they're handling it, or the way they're talking about something, or the way, or something that happened in their past, and then let you go through it, and see how it really feels, right, do your research, and that's what Spirit said, okay, you know what, you want to make fun of this person that was supposed to help you, that you, you know, or that, you know, or that was the help that you, you know, you want to make fun of this person, let's see how you handle going through it yourself, oh, you act exactly the same way, oh, oh okay when you're actually in that situation everything's all different huh it's, <laughs> yeah meditate think on this some more exactly think on this some more spirit said do your research and think on this some more think on this some more about how you're handling this situation which is exactly what this hermit mode is for this person right yeah and it's really sent this person through a transformation right or this person is in uh, the verge of a transformation let go and let spirit work right that's what's happening you what you needed to do on your side of this is just forgive this person for the way they chose to act and move on. And, and when you did that, spirit came into this person's life and was like, that ass, like, got you. Like, okay, you want to make fun of this person? Here. You want to make fun of the person that was sent here to help you? Okay, that's fine. Um, You're going to learn exactly what it feels like to be that person. You're going to learn exactly what it feels like to be in that same situation. And let's see how well you handle it. <laughs> All right. So that's kind of how all this went down is this person, you know, this person learned a very valuable lesson from the way, from the kind of, you know, uh, from the BS that they, that they put you through. This person learned a lot, a lot, a lot about themselves and also a lot about the people that they were choosing to hang around with. Right. Um, as long as they were being chosen, it felt good. But then when they were the, when they were the object of the bullying or the being made fun of or being put on the outside, they're like, this doesn't feel very good. Um, Past life karma. Yeah. <laughs> this person had some past life karma here. This person, you and this person, I feel like had some karma between the two of you and it needed to be, an, it needs to be reenacted or it needs to be enacted through this, right? It was destined for this person to have this judgment call about you and, and learn this lesson here, right? To learn this lesson here. Break, break free, right? So this person needed to break free of this past karmic cycle that they were stuck in. And then, yeah, they, you need to heal, right? This caused healing for you because you probably learned how to have, how to, you know, be like, you know what, just because somebody wants to make fun of me for, for standing in my truth, I'm still going to stand in my truth. It doesn't matter. And now this person learned, you know what, I don't need to make fun of people that are standing in their truth because, or I don't need to ostracize people or, you know what, um, I should stand in my truth too, because when the shoe's on the other foot, it doesn't feel very good. And I want to have a brand new beginning and go towards what actually makes me happy. I feel like this person was really making fun of you or like bullying you or something for just being yourself. And then this person felt it might not have been for the exact same thing, but this person got a taste of their own medicine is what spirit just said, a taste of their own medicine. And then they were just like, wow, like, nah, I don't, I don't participate. This doesn't really jive with really who I am on the inside, right? I need to check my ego, right? Um, and this ego is actually making me betrayal. Uh, betrayal? Betrayal. It's making me betrayal. They are working against you. This person realized that their ego, right, their shadow self, this, oh, no, if I was you, I wouldn't let them get away with it. I'd judge them for doing that. They're really realizing that their ego is really betraying them, right? And it, it really got them into some, some hot water. It really got them into some karmic situations where they felt very trapped about this situation, right? And so this just is about this person getting karma. They got put in the exact same situation that they wanted to make fun of you for being in, right? 
And this person, and that could have happened through a karmic, per, a particular karmic person, long-term relationship. Um, this person just feels, yeah, cheating. So if this was an ex possibly that cheated on you or something like that, they are, they are stuck in a karmic relationship right now where this person just constantly cheats on them, constantly makes them feel like other things are their priority over you, over them. Um, and this might have been a person that made you feel all the time like other things were a priority over you. Um, and now this person is put in a situation where they made a choice and they are in a situation where they are around people or they're around a particular person that always puts everything else above them. And they're like, damn, this really, really sucks to feel this way. It really sucks to be made to feel this way. Um, I don't, I don't like this at all, especially if this person was cheating on you. Yeah, look, ghosted, right? Um, if they are in that situation, like all of their, you know, if they ghosted you or if they ran off on you or they cheated on you or whatever it is, they are constantly in situations where people are cheating on them, ghosting on them, not, you know, someone wasn't ready, like that they're constantly chasing after. Um, if they were the type of person that constantly made you chase after their love or their affection, you know, um, they're, they have been put in a situation where they feel how heavy it feels to be in a relationship where somebody makes you feel that way, makes you constantly feel like you're not good enough. And they're just like, this is terrible, right? But this is a karmic lesson that this person needed to learn, okay? So that's what Spirit is saying. Like, somebody here broke up or made a decision based on a rumor, based on something that they heard. They wanted to judge you, you know? They wanted to judge you because they hadn't been put in that position. And now that they've been put in that position, they're like, wow, exactly. Look, it was time for this person to emotionally grow up or it was time for this person to, to understand exactly what it felt like to treat people the way that they that the way that they made other people feel right what goes around comes around this person got put in a very karmic situation okay and now this person is being asked here okay to let go right to let go of this that they were holding on to let go of this ego that they were being asked to and this is the karmic lesson that this person is going through right now this is the big lesson this person is going through now to let go of a lot of their pride a lot of their ego yeah so if this, if this person was a, a person that judged other people for, you know, they had money and they judge other people for not having money or for not having positions of power or for not having this, if they abuse that, yeah, all that got taken away from this person. So whatever position of power they, they were in before, it completely got taken away from them. And it's, it's kind of, that's kind of me giving me that, okay, I don't know why Spirit is saying it this way. Okay. So this, this might hit a little home. It could be kind of triggering. Okay. For me to say this, but it could have been a situation of the spirit saying the the master became the slave and the slave became the master okay so that could be some kind of past life issue where this person had a lot of power over you in a past life and now um the past life karma that had the, the karmic cycle that has been broken here is that this person this person but cut not necessarily because of you but you coming into this person's life gave them the opportunity to do what they did in a past life or to choose something different and they still chose to do the karmic thing and now it brought karmic justice onto this person like okay um so whatever position of power money status whatever it was that they have has been taken away the the universe has 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 put this person in a position to where they know what it feels like to be in the position they were always putting other people in, right? Who to know that in the past, you put all these other people in this position and took advantage of the power that you had over other people. And now you know what it feels like to have, um, you know, to have, this person could have been a person that really enjoyed kind of like tearing apart relationships in the past, or this, or they could have been the type of person that really loved to stir up drama and make people turn their back on one particular person. Like there could have been a pe people in a group and they love to go in and like make somebody like stir up drama and make somebody turn their back on that particular person and ostracize them. And now this person knows exactly what it feels like to be in that position. All of their friends, their family, um, all all of their associates, their business partners, all of that have all have all turned their back on them and they, and they know what it feels like for all of their support system for everything to be taken away from them and for all their power um, and the and the kind of even if it's just like manipulative like emotional power they had other people it's all been stripped away from this person and they can no longer do that. So this is a really deep lesson that this person is learning in this position. So um yeah yeah, 
And I just feel like spirit just puts you in the position to come into this person's life because I really feel like you play like a, a role of kind of like karmic justice in the situation. So because this person chose to do you dirty, the universe and your spirit guides were like, oh, <laughs> I think not. That, 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 that. You know, like, I don't know who you think you are, but humble thyself, right? And this person very much so got humbled, very, very much so got humbled. And they, I really feel like, I mean, it depends on how they handle the situation moving forward, but I definitely feel like this is something that's going to be a permanent thing and they're very much so in their life. Yeah, it's a new cycle that this person is being exposed to, but it's a cycle that it's not a very positive or nice cycle. Like I said, with all those, that 10 of wands, this person is feeling extremely burdened, um, extremely, 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 extremely burdened. So this was somebody in a past life that had a lot of power over you, um, even possibly power over you in a life or death situation. Like, and now this person knows what it feels like for that power. Look at that death card in reverse. Now it feels like they know exactly what it feels like for somebody else to have power even over their life, possibly. I don't know exactly what this person is going through. But yeah, this person is stuck in a very much so in a heavy cycle in this, in this three dimension that they are having to, you know, that they're just paying that karmic burden over. Yeah, they have somebody that has a lot of like, power over them now and they know what it feels like um to feel helpless to be put in a position where they're helpless and to feel like oh yeah like disenfranchised helpless excommunicated or something like that like yeah so this person is saying these are this the spirit is, the universe is saying to this person this is the seeds that you that you sowed right this is the seed that you're sowed and now they finally come to like you're reaping exactly what you've been sowing so wow Okay, well, for you know, like I said before, you forgave this person, you've moved on, you're trying to to alchemize the 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 hate that you might have felt in the past uh, past life for this person because I really feel like this person did some really messed up stuff to you in a past life. Um and you're really learning how to forgive and move on. Look, the hangman put in a position of power, right? Like this person literally could have done some really messed up stuff. I am getting a lot of like racial overtones in this, okay? So this could be like you, this person could have had some kind of, uh, kind of that kind of control over you, like kind of like a master dynamic control, like I own you kind of control. Yeah, they did a lot of injustice to you in the past. So now this person is having, getting a taste of their own medicine. And that's what Spirit is saying. Like this person is just getting the karma that they, you know, so that they can learn what it really feels like to be on, you know, now that the shoe's on the other foot, they know much more of what it feels like to be in this position. Now they're the person in the hanged one position. Now they're the person being... Um, it's really giving me this big sen like sensation of this person caused you a lot of like public shame in a past life or they, yeah, it's, it's, oh, it's giving me like, oh, I'm not getting good vibe. I'm not getting, it's real. it's, it's got a lot of racial overtones to it. If you want to think about this, what I'm trying to say when they doing stuff like this to people, I can't, I have to be careful of the words that I use here on YouTube. Right. Um, when things like this used to happen to ran to random people, you know, how people would be like, you can't smile at that person that's a different color than you. We're, we're gonna do this to you, right? It's kind of giving me that kind of vibes. Like this person in a past life really, you know, you could have even just been an innocent bystander and they're like, you, we're gonna take out our justice on you, you know? And you're just like, I don't have anything to do with this. Like, what do you mean? Like, what? That kind of situation, yeah. What goes around, what goes around, comes around. That's what spirit is saying. What goes around, comes around. So now this person, it's not for punishment. It's just for this person to know what it really feels like to be put in that position. What it feels like to have your community turned against you. Um, I'm hearing like trials, like so this person could have been involved in some kind of um, like, you know, like the Salem witch trials or something like that. I don't know. I'm getting like a big... I am getting a big, like, people being judged for their race or for their ethnicity or for, well, their ethnicity, their race, for their, um, their gender, um, possibly even, like, who they were choosing to love, you know, sort of type situation here. So there is some kind of karmic justice coming, coming back to this person in this way where they feel like their whole community has been turned against them because of 
because of something that's completely out of their control. And now it's like, now you know what it feels like. So, um, you know, you made this karmic choice in a past life and now here you are um, receiving the... I don't know. This per this, I'm getting persecuted. This person feels persecuted. They're like, this is not fair. I shouldn't be being judged for this. Um, they feel very persecuted by their friend, by everyone around them, by their friends, by their family, by, by just everything. And they're just like, this isn't fair. Now they know what it feels like for, to feel like other people, this person could have even gotten in trouble with the law or they could have gotten in trouble. You know, they could be locked up in jail and they're like, oh my God, is this what it feels like? You know, is this what it feels like to have everything stripped away from you, to have all of your power? This person could have, this person, I'm hearing, oh, how the mighty have fallen. So this person could have been like, uh, like a member of, uh, you know, the police force or a judge or something like that. And now this per somebody figured out this person was breaking the law or doing something. And now this person got put on trial, all their friends, all their family, all their coworkers are, have turned their back on them or have like, you know, distanced themselves from this person. Um, everybody in their community, it does not have their back anymore. And they have, being put in a position where perhaps even other people have complete control over their life, whether they eat, whether they, where they sleep, where they go, you know? Um, so, you know, in this, per that's really fucked up. If this person is in jail, they are, they are not having a good time. Well, you know, they're, they're, they're experiencing a lot of things, a lot of, uh, injustices in their life. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is happening to this person to teach them this lesson because they did this to someone else in a past life, um, to you, in fact. Um, if not directly to you, you know, you could have been like the wife or the child or something like that of the person that they did this to. And um, Spirit is just saying, you know, like you are, you know, this person and yeah spirit just keeps saying that what goes around comes around yeah what go and it's not like a punishment thing spirit says they don't want you to ever feel like you're like it's a punishment thing like oh they did something bad so now it's their no now it's their job to get punished in this lifetime it's not for punishment it's for lessons learned like you don't do this to other people and that's what spirit is teaching this person like you know what it feels like now when you if you get a position of power again you better not abuse it. You better not use it like that, right? Yeah. All right. Well, that's just what I have. Um, I'm really sorry if this triggered you or if this, you know, triggered, um, triggered you. And I'm really, well, I'm sorry for any kind of grief that might have caused you, you know. Um, but if this, you know, brought up any kind of past life energy that needed to be transmuted, I hope that this held the space for you to transmute that, for you to let go of it. Cry if you need to. It's okay. Um, you know, um, I hope I didn't catch you in any kind of public place or anything like that, but, um, I hope that you can, that your soul can rest easy now, knowing that the person that did that to you or did that to your loved one in the past knows what it feels like, and they are getting the opportunity to learn and to make different choices, uh, next time. Okay. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Um, I didn't really think when we were going to start this, that, th that this would end so heavy. So that's such like a heavy, like big thing. Um, but, um, yeah, <laughs> I guess that it did. Um, let me know if this resonated for you down in the comment section down below. Okay. Um, thank you for being here with me. Thank you for everybody who likes, who shares, who comments. Um, who, if you feel guided to watching in my other readings, please do so. If you feel guided to uh, donate to the channel or tip, I really appreciate that. Thank you so very much. And either way, I'm just happy that you're here. I hope that you got the love, light, and guidance that you needed. I hope that this helped you transmute some energy for you. And if you have been feeling this kind of energy or this animosity energy, um, I hope this gave you the clarity that you needed as to why maybe you felt this way or why you felt such a strong soul connection to this other person. Okay. I hope it brought you the clarity on that and it is allowing you to release and let go I really feel that like wow that's a lot of releasing energy good I'm so happy for you keep doing it okay uh 53 53 down on the clock you might want to look up the angel number 53 okay um yeah eight right five and three is eight that 
what goes around comes around, you know, that kind of energy, like things are being balanced out now. Um, here it's almost, it's four, four, three down on the clock, but it's almost four, four, four. So your angel guys are coming in here, um, to, to really show you that they really, you know, that they're really here protecting you and guiding you right in this situation here. So Thank you so much for being here with me today. Okay, uh, let me, um, if you are interested in any of the decks that I use in, in, in this reading or any of my other readings, the information for that is in the bottom of the description box, okay, as well as if you feel guided to reach out to me to get any kind of personal readings or spiritual guidance, that my contact information is in, this, is in the description box below as well. All right, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, lovelies.